Hi everyone, I am Didi. This is Pink Chill Divest. Welcome to my Sexist Womanist Bohemian channel. This is the softer side of divestment. Here I am presenting to you a lecture, the do's and don'ts of Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle has a lot of lessons for divested black women. Here I define divestment pretty close to the dictionary definition. It's withdrawing resources. Going further, withdrawing resources, support, love, and our presence from anybody who doesn't reciprocate. I just don't divest from Pookie and Ray Ray and Blackistan. It's across the board. That's my divestment brand. I have no race loyalty to Meghan Markle. Let's make that clear. This is part of divestment. We don't just ride for somebody because they're a woman. We don't just ride for somebody because they have a black mother. I'm very puzzled by a lot of things she has done and I'll get into the do's. I just wanna say right now, I don't believe a lot of what she says. I really don't. This is a woman, biracial woman, mother, black, father, white. Father made tons of money in Hollywood as a lighting director for the TV show Married with Children. She had everything a little girl wanted by her father. She was doted on by her father. I want you black ladies to understand this is a biracial girl that was protected by the white patriarchy throughout her childhood. She lacked nothing. And she also has a black family that doted on her. Ask yourself this, black people, why weren't her mother's relatives at that royal wedding? Why isn't she friendly with any of her black relatives except her mother? Ask yourself that question. I'm not colorist, but black America is. Meghan Markle absolutely gets support from a lot of black people because they are colorist, because she is a light-skinned biracial woman and they want to affiliate with her. Look how white she looks. Well, she's black like me. I get it. I understand their perspective, but she doesn't know when to shut her mouth. She overshares too much to accuse her husband's family, the most famous uptight royal family in the world, to accuse them of racism because one of them was talking about what color the child might be is inauthentic. Now, we all know how much black people love light-skinned babies. Let's not pretend light-skinned babies, good hair, et cetera, et cetera. Every black person I've ever known has talked about what is the baby going to look like? Wonder who they are going to favor. So for her to come out and say that her husband's family is racist be because they brought that up, I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. Living in California for a long time, I've come across the Meghan Markles. More power to them. In general, they don't have close black women friends because they want to get away from visual signs of blackness like she did. Her main black lady friend was Serena Williams back in 2014. She had one like one black lady friend. She moved away from anything black as she assimilated more. She got plastic surgery to look more white, hush couple nose jobs. She obviously does some skin bleaching. When she was younger, she could have just passed as a light-skinned black girl. Come on, guys. She gets a keratin hair treatment, and guess what? More power to her. I'm not an authoritarian. Do what you want to do with your body. Don't expect me to ride for her. What has she done for me as a black woman? I'm divested, remember? I'm not just throwing my support behind somebody as a black woman. Now let's get into the do's, things that are positive that this woman is doing. The do's for divested black women, Gen Z. Gen Z, you guys are raised online, you overshare everything. Megan Markle smiles a lot. She knows how to look cheery. And when you look cheery in the public eye, you control the narrative in videos and photographs. She takes it over the top. She looks very phony, fake. Uh, to me, she's doing obvious Princess Diana cosplay. She has these gestures that are completely studied by her late mother-in-law. It's very obvious to me. I'm an older woman. I was around when her mother-in-law was kicking around, doing, doing the same thing that this woman is trying to replicate. See how well that worked out for Princess Diana? I digress. I'm working on the positive. See, this is, this is a challenge. 
She smiles because she knows if somebody says, oh, Meghan Markle is mean or Meghan Markle is that, she's got this big fake grin plastered on her face. She inappropriately grins. Look at her videos. I don't know how she keeps it up, y'all, but it's a positive for black women to be smiling. She seems to, outside of dissing her father, snubbing her black family, and trashing her in-laws, she has decent manners. She overshares too much and it's dangerous. It's dangerous to overshare your family business like she's doing. She has decent manners when she's not running her mouth, trashing her families. She keeps her weight down. She married the 1% of the 1%. If she was quote unquote black folks thick, which is morbidly obese, she wouldn't have gotten near any of those people except as a performer. She got with Prince Harry because she assimilated with surgery. She keeps herself super thin, elite thin. I have to give her credit for that. It takes a lot of discipline to be as thin as she is at her middle age. She dresses very conservatively. She wears neutral. She dresses well. She knows how to dress. I give her credit for that. The way she dresses is a status marker. She's not dressing like a hoochie mama. She's not dressing like a reality show star. She's dressing to be in palaces and sitting rooms. She's very well traveled besides the fact that her white dad paid for everything, took her on all sorts of family vacations. Her, her white dad's uncle got her some um, intern job in South America. Black girls need to travel more. You meet more people. It opens up your mind to go over the dues of Meghan Markle. She smiles a lot. She looks very cheery. She takes it over the top, looks maniacally fake in my opinion. She could pull it back some. She needs to pull it back. She looks a little Looney Tune sometimes. Except for dissing her families, three sets of families that, you know, she could only get along with like two or three members of hundreds of people, which is really strange. She has pretty decent manners. She did her own philanthropic thing, going to India, going to Africa. She was working up in Toronto. This is a extremely well-traveled woman. A lot for young black girls to look up to regarding smiling, manners, weight, dress, and travel. Kudos to her for all of that. Now here are some of the don'ts or the things that she does bad and I really, young girls, please take notes. She doesn't know when to shut the heck up about her in-laws. She keeps putting her foot in the mouth. She keeps going on and on. And she centers herself as a victim and it's not believable anymore. And I'll repeat, she's got a white dad that gave her everything. That guy just had a heart attack laying up in hospital. She didn't even go and visit her dad. She didn't try to make peace. What a cold-hearted heifer. There's a black woman up with her when she's a baby. None of them were at her royal wedding. You never hear her speak anything about her black family. What happened? She can't get along with them. Dissing the most famous white family on earth after she deliberately did everything she could to marry into them. Don't tell me that she woke up one day and they were all racist. If what she is saying is true, that they are racist, she knew it and she married into the family anyway. On her famous engagement video, as she's sitting there maniacally clutching on this man. Young ladies, don't be clutching your men like that. And she had the nerve to say she didn't know who Prince Harry was. She's a pathological liar. She lies so much, she never Googled Prince Harry. Then she lied and said, oh, we got married a couple days before uh, our royal wedding. We got Archbishop of Canterbury married us. That was like she lies so much. I'm like, guys, is she a plant or a patsy? What is up with this woman? Is she on drugs? What is it? If you have problems with your family, keep it off of social media. Social media isn't your journal. If you had problems with your ex, Gen Z, keep it off of social media. This is the danger zone when you start uh, spilling other people's tea because you are controlling the narrative and you could be lying. Once you put somebody's business out that, like that on social media, it is dangerous, dangerous. And beware the bridges that you burn. She trashed the royal family. Guess who at this recording is all up in the grill of the royal family at the funeral of Queen Elizabeth. Meghan Markle sucking it up. She can't do a maniacal Princess Diana act. She can't be grinning fake. She has to suck it up, keep her mouth shut, and look serious for once. After dissing those people, after saying, oh, Prince Harry, like me, he lost his father. Prince Harry lost his father. Girl, shut up trying to talk for your husband. He's a grown man. Will she shut up talking about the royal family? You have to take responsibility 
If you are part of the problem, her problem is a lack of accountability. Not once has Meghan Markle said, do you know what I did wrong? Do you know what I did wrong in the royal family? Do you know what I did wrong with my dad? Do you want to know what I did wrong? She would get more love, empathy, and understanding. She has never taken personal responsibility for doing anything wrong. So let me understand this. All the royal family is wrong except her husband and maybe one of his cousins and the dead queen. Dad paid for her college, went to private school, traveled all over. Her white uncle gave her an internship down in South America. Her black family helped raise her little light-skinned biracial butt. Out of all three of those families, hundreds of people, she can only get along with three of those three groups and everybody else is at fault. That's dangerous. Learn that from her. I am currently a swirl widow. Rest in paradise, Richard. And I am dating. But if a guy lets me know he has social media, I'll take a look at his, whatever he has, I'll go take a look at it. And if I see a guy is dissing his ex-wife, if I see a guy is dissing his uh, ex-woman, his ex-wife, his in-laws, if I see a guy criticizing his grown kids, I'm not having anything to do with him because I know I'll be next in short, she needs to shut up. She needs to understand she's in the 1% and she needs to stop using racism as a wolf whistle. She didn't have black friends. She didn't associate with blackness. She called herself white. She makes herself look as white as possible. And now she's trying to wolf whistle to play black people to carry her like OJ Simpson did after he killed those two white people. Then he started touring black churches to try to get the black people on his side after he got away with murder. She's trying to use black people. So that's it. That's my lecture on Meghan Markle. I look forward to hearing what you are going to say. I am Dee Dee. This is Pink Chill Divest.